Hi again. This is uh, video BP2D19. So we're going to put the we're going to put the finishing touches on the uh, the long east elevation we've got here. Okay, we can use some of the the props from the uh, from the the section drawing. So we've got the people and the trees that we can reuse. Okay. And I've just noticed there is there is something I missed off here. We didn't put in the pool on the other side of the uh, the elevation. So let's just quickly add that before we forget. So let's drag a line up from this side. Okay, the other side of the pool is in line with here, and the depth of the pool bring it across from this side. Fill it those lines together and if we change their match properties one of the blue items and that is definitely everything in place now okay so we're copying some of these these features let's do the people first and these are blocks so they, they have what's called an insertion point so let's let's try and use the insertion point if possible so if you right click your object snaps add insertion and let's take off perpendicular intersection and endpoint let's just take those off just now okay so if I copy this figure CP return pick the object return if I hover over it you can see the only object snap it's giving me is the insert point the insertion point so I'm in control of the figure. I turned ortho off there using the F8 key. I'm in control of the figure from its insertion point. And then I might place it in the nearest point, somewhere just a random position but definitely touching the ground. So shift and right click, nearest, and I can pick any position. Escape. Okay, these are going to get used up, so I may as well actually just move them. So it's M, return, pick this duo and return. Looking for an insertion point. There's two insertion points here, one for the child and father and one for the mother. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one we take. And we'll put these people at the nearest point as well. Let's put them... Uh, walking along in front of the windows. So shift and right click nearest to here. Okay, and lastly the chap looking at his watch or his phone. So we'll move M return pick the figure return picks its insertion point and we'll have him stood outside the building. So shift and right click nearest here. Okay, let's copy the trees now. CP, return, pick the tree, and return. Base point, this time, can be anywhere. If we put ortho on, we can just drag the tree along. And I'll have this one just catching the edge of the building. I'll have a second one of these a bit further along, maybe over here. And then we'll copy this tree instead using the same method, base point anywhere. And we'll have one of those just at the edge of the drawing there, and maybe one about halfway along. Okay. Now you could have trees in front of your buildings, it gives things a bit of depth. You could have them in front and behind, or just behind. Now let's just present let's just pretend the trees are all just behind. So we would need a wipeout for this. So we've done a wipeout already, so let's make a second one. I'll use the wipeout layer. I'll need a few more object snaps now. Let's turn off insertion and we'll put back on endpoint, intersection, and perpendicular. Okay, so the command is wipeout. Okay. 
and we'll trace around. Have to be fairly careful, make sure we get into the right points and don't pick positions on the actual trees. Okay. Come way across here. Very careful in this bit that we don't end up picking branches and leaves. Okay, similarly here. Down to there. Okay, and that will do. Okay. So we can press enter now. And it obviously obliterates everything because it's right on top of the drawing. So we use the draw order command to send that to the back. DR return. Pick the wipeout. Return twice. And then send the trees to the back so they're behind the wipeout. So press return to bring back draw order command. Pick the four trees and return twice. So they go behind the wipeout. And that just means that if we wanted to, we could move the trees around if, if we needed to. Okay, this man is a bit, looks a bit awkward. He's stuck on top of the tree there, so we'll just move him to the side. Okay, so these items have done their job now. They can be deleted. So let's get rid of those. And what we'll do now is I'm just going to space things out a little bit. Okay, so when, if I want to move anything, I need to make sure all the layers and all the image files are back on and visible. So I'll do image return. Click on both of the image files there, right click them and reload them. Okay, now if I move these, then it's going to affect this section layout. Okay, but that's okay. We're going to be creating a second a, a new fresh layout that shows everything. So M return. Grab all these items and return. Base point can be anywhere. I'm just moving this a bit further away just so we don't have the drawings too close and on top of each other. Okay, you'll see then if I go to section 50, it's been compromised. So the drawing is just a bit above the page here. So if I go into the viewport, if I double click inside and then use the command minus P, this will let me control my panning in a straight line. So minus P, return, pick a point, move downwards and click again. Okay, I don't need to go as far this time. Pick a point, go downwards and click again. Another bit more and that just brings it back into position. So it's the same scale, still at 1 to 50, but it's back in its viewport. Okay, back to model space. Let's just... What we're going to do now is bring in a an aerial photograph to use as a site plan. Okay, so I'm going to change to layer 0 for this. I'm going to set the site plan on layer 0, and then I want to insert and attach and I've got Barcelona Pavilion location aerial photo and click open now I don't know what scale to use when something is just screen grabbed from Google Earth or whatever you don't know what size it is it doesn't have any semblance of scale so we've got to we've got to try and deal with that so I may as well just leave these two ticks on and OK. And if I pick a point and just drag, OK. So what we're going to do is is scale this up so that the distance from corner here to corner here is the same as it is on the drawing from here to here. Okay, so this distance is 36,500 millimeters. Okay, so let's draw a line on the on the uh, aerial photograph of that that position. So this is you. This isn't fantastically accurate. Okay, you have to just accept this. So we'll draw a line from where I think the corner is, which is about here. If I turn ortho off. 
and the end of the line should be round about there. Okay, so that's the line I've drawn. Okay, now I want to scale the picture and the line. So it's SC return, pick the line and the edge of the picture and return. The base point for the scale is at the bottom end of the line and then it's asking me what scale factor. I don't know the scale factor, but I do know what the size of the line should be. Okay, so in that case, you use a reference scale. So it's reference endpoint to endpoint. So that's the size as it is at the moment. And then it says, what size do you want? Specify the new length. And so the new length is 36500. Return. Okay, if I zoom out now, I might need to do a zoom extents. So double click your middle mouse button. Okay, everything's sitting on top of the drawing here, so we need to move it to the side. So M return, P return. So that's the line in the photo. Return again. Base point can be anywhere. And just take that to the side so we can see our drawing. Okay. So this line's done its job. It doesn't really need it anymore, but it might be useful for helping us set a north point, but we'll probably have to draw over this in paper space because that's where the north point should go. Okay, so that's fairly close to the same scale. It's not going to be exact because it involves us picking positions on a picture. That's never going to be as exact as drawing it ourselves. Okay, but it will work. Okay, so we've got everything we need now to, to start a new layout. And I think we'll do that in a final video rather than extend this one and make it too long. So we'll stop um, BP2D19 just here.